Hola peoples, uh, this is uh, Jasno GT. Um, when I woke up this morning, today's my day off, uh, I was thinking, um, when is that ice cream sandwich um, update going to come for the Sensation 4G? And I heard it was like June something, the middle of June. I was like, oh, I'm going to look into it because I'm not, I'm not really sure uh, when it's coming out. And I looked into it. Turns out it's today. And uh, I'm about to do it. I think I'm just going to kind of go for it. It's kind of funny. Um, I've always said in the past, you know, I kind of HTC sense. I kind of either don't really like it or you know, love hate, whatever. Um, I have had an, I found a new respect for HTC sense. I've been using it for. I mean, I, I took off my Launcher Pro. I mean, my Go Launcher and all that. I had, I had all the overlays you can think of, all the launchers you can think of. I had them all, pretty much. And the reason why I respected, started respecting and looking at looking back at HTC sense, I'm like, when you look at some of those home replacements, those launchers that you can get from the market or wherever, they're all kind of like trying to look like HTC Sense. If you really look into it, it says, oh, well, if you want to pay another dollar fifty, you get this widget and this widget, and it looks just like what something I already have, which is HTC Sense. So I'm like, well, it's a no-brainer. So I tried, you know, HTC Sense for a while and uh, really started using it, uh, you know, like you're supposed to. And gotten really accustomed to it, so um, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know why I'm talking about HC Sense so much because it's not when I do do this, when I do the ice cream uh, ICS update, it's not going to change HCC Sense, but it's just gonna it's gonna remove this dock down here. I'm thinking, oh, am I gonna miss this dock? I don't know. I'm starting to get uh, gotten used to it again. You know, you have your easy, uh, you know, easy access, just three quick. Thing about thing whatever you want to call them. Blah, blah. You have your, you know, you guys know this. So I don't know. Um, whatever. So I'm thinking, let's just go for it and do it. Whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you real fast. I don't know if, I mean, there's videos of HTC Sense, um, you know, ROMs or whatever. They're out. They're, they weren't official, but this might be the first video on YouTube. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe not. Uh, the one thing, the one thing is though, if you're using, I looked into it this morning. If you are looking, if you, if you are, if you are using the, uh, the hotspot, mobile hotspot feature on your phone, um, on your sensation, um, I would not, I probably would not upgrade to ICS because you'll be charged from now on to use that feature. Uh, from the research I've done, I don't use it. I don't use mobile hotspot. I don't care for that. I don't care. I just, you know, it doesn't bother me. I'm going to upgrade anyways. But, um, you know, if, if you can use that feature, I think they're going to charge you like $14.99 a month. Um, so if you're an avid, if you have an HTC sensation and you're an avid hotspot user, um, you might be just well off sticking with um, whatever, what is this? Um, this is gingerbread. I know that. 2.3.6 or whatever. I'm not sure. So whatever. So I've already started looking at what happens when you start this. By the way, I did get a, I did get an OtterBox. Again, I'm trying to do a multiple review here. The OtterBox case is fantastic. Got it for 17 bucks actually. When retails for almost 40. Um, got it on Amazon for 17 bucks. Fantastic. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it because it slides in and out of your pocket. But. Uh, Okay, Jason, shut up and get to the damn update. I know, I know. Hola, I'm back, and uh, here is the uh, the ICS now running on the HCC Sensation. This is the official uh, ice cream sandwich. And uh, here's a lock screen. You know, of course, this lock screen is HTC Sense. And um, I'm glad I did update this because on the pr on the previously on HTC Sense, I think 3.0, I was this phone icon, I was trying to change it, and I lost it, and it, I could never find it again, so I, now I got it back by upgrading um, to Ice Cream Sandwich. Like I said, it has nothing to do with HTC Sense, but it's just interesting that's uh, actually Sense does, it does upgrade, I believe, to 3.6. Let me get it. Yeah, so this is what Ice Cream Sandwich looks like on the HTC Sensation. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty sharp. Um, I did change it up a little bit. You know, I've already, you know, I made it look like more like a Galaxy Nexus actually and it kind of the phone kind of has that Galaxy Nexus ish shape which I love um, you know the 
you know, other phones don't have that. You know, it kind of has that long, you know, narrow, not really narrow, but, you know, I, I don't know what the terms are, but, you know, long and sleek, and it's pretty cool, you know, I like it. And uh, um, there's so many things. I mean, man, I don't even know where to begin. It, it, I've been using this a few days now. The first, the first part of this video I took on the 16th of May, uh, I just haven't gotten around to, uh, you know, I tried to shoot another vid, but I didn't like it. Um, okay. First of all, your notification up here changes a little bit. It's now, it's now black. See, I got an email now, and you can actually swipe it away now instead of having to do clear, uh, it's, which is, you know, it's one of the things that's a little different. I hope you can see all this. I think you can. Looks like it's looking pretty good. I have to turn the brightness down. Uh, also, let's see here. Of course, the dock, the dock is totally different. Of course, you can change any of these, and uh, as you can see, it uh, corresponds to the lock screen. Uh, looks like it. That's what it does. Yeah. And, uh, okay, now you want to go to settings and stuff. Settings looks like, well, actually, looks like this now. Uh, settings, personalize, you know, um, all this, the same old stuff. And we can go to here, settings, personalize, storage, power, apps. Not really used to it too much. About phone, I'm trying to do this behind. My leg is shaking because I'm trying to hold up this camera. Software updates, software information, and it is Android version 4.0.3, HEC Sense version 3.6. So Sense has been upgraded, and uh, I like that because there's a, there's a, I I put there's actually you can actually of course you still have that seven home screen uh, helicopter view. You can now get rid of panels if you want to edit like if you want to get rid of you know, if you want to only have five panels, which I kind of do personally like, you can get rid of those and swap them around. But uh, being able to add and delete uh, panels is pretty cool. It, it, you can't do more than seven, as far as I know. I added a couple more because I wanted to show you some new HTC widgets. Well, actually, okay, this is an H, uh, one of the newer HTC widgets, Task. Uh, I didn't see that in the previous 3.0. So that's what it looks like. Um, I use Color Note for all my tasks and stuff, but whatever. And this is a uh, no, like notes, kind of like a you know, color note. I think it's uh, it corresponds with Evernote, which I don't even I don't use Evernote. It's got a whole bunch of extra stuff on uh, ICS. Okay, um, try to summarize a lot of this up. I'm not gonna make it too long for you. ICS is um, well, this upgrade makes this phone way snappy. The the kinetics have changed. Uh, I remember in since 3.0. You know, you get that carousel really easy, a little too easy, and it was kind of annoying, okay? This, you really have to try really hard to get that carousel, and you can get it, but that's good. I'm glad they did that, because they made it more about function and less about eye candy. Oh, look at this, you know, we want to go to the circus. We don't want to do that anymore. We want to, we got business to do. So, another on that same aspect, the lock screen, it opens right away. Remember when you open it up on the lock screen, and you pull the ring, it took like, took forever, and it boom, and then it landed? Just so you can get to your your homepage or whatever you want to call it. Now it's like, it's quick. Look at that. I wish I could see all this. Hold on. It's quicker. It's quicker. It gets right to the point, which uh, you know I love. Um, this little clock here is a it's an ice cream sandwich clock, but I actually got that from the Google Play Store, as uh, some other stuff. But as far as other um, let's see. No. I was trying to remember what to say here. Okay, fonts. All the fonts are different on all the 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 on the whole phone. Fonts are different. Um, let me show you something else. Photos. The galleries are way better. They have really cool animations. Check it out. Here's a picture of some food there. Okay, that's really neat. See, you have like the little. It's just really nice animate animated effects. Very fluid. I believe this is. I'm not sure if this is the Sense upgrade or the ICS upgrade, but whatever, it looks cool. Let's see, you got fonts, phones, whatever that was, you know. uh, Of course, this is like a newer widget here. You, you, you still have your HTC widget, widgets, don't be scared. Uh, you haven't lost any of those HTC classic widgets. Oh, folders, excellent, okay, forgot. Here is an example of a folder here. See, I put my navigation and my maps, to, uh, maps together just to show you. The folders look very fluid. It feels, it's very iPhone-ish. Uh, this whole, the ICS upgrade really makes the phone feel way more polished. The kinetics are different. There's, it's smoother. It's just more, 
it feels kind of iPhone-ish to me. I know it sounds weird. I'm an Android dude, but it does. I mean, just look how fluid and, and detailed everything. It's just more... Another cool thing, one last thing, I guess, like, oh, here's some wallpapers. Okay, you get some new... You don't get new wallpapers, but you get... Well, you one wallpaper changes, I've noticed. The, well, the display, the way they do it is a little different now. The, uh, the presentation is uh, smoother and quicker and nicer, all the good stuff. The only change is this particular wallpaper right here. It becomes very more vibrant. Remember the previous HTC Sense uh, sensation? Ha it was more white. This is more contrasty, more vivid, kind of like uh, it pops more like a like a you know like an AMOLED AMOLED display type uh, picture. This live wallpaper actually is something I did not download from the Google Play Market. Let's see. You get some. Well, I added some other stuff. Some of these are mine. This koi fish and stuff. The you do get some extra wallpaper, uh, live wallpapers. This one is a slideshow. I don't think you get that on the previous uh, version of Sense or the previous, you know, the way it was before. And it's really great. There's a ton of cool photos. Um, so of course you got the streak weather. These are all okay. You get the this is a Nexus Holy Spiral. So you get that. I didn't download this extra, you know, from the Google Play. This is actually this is what you get. You get the uh, the upgraded Nexus, kind of the, cl the classic, uh, you know, Nexus S theme, or you know, not the not the previous Nexus One uh, theme. I used to have this on my Droid Incredible, um, and I went back to the Play Store. I couldn't find it anywhere. I guess I got rid of it, but I got it now because it comes with the update. Uh, you see that? This these are new. Uh, you get the what is that? Bubbles, really cool stuff. Let me see if I can go ahead and apply that. So it's pretty nice. You've seen these all on Galaxy Next on the Galaxy Nexus. Um, yeah. Anyways, it just it just it's really polished. The, the whole phone it feels it feels like I got a, a Galaxy Nexus now. It's of course not the same phone, but it's it really it's great. Uh, one other one last thing. Oh oh, a couple things actually. Check this out. So so cool. These are of course your. This is how you manage your tasks. This is one way to manage your tasks. You still have the, the HTC Task Manager, but this is really cool. This is the way, you know, I guess it was supposed to be. Uh, I got my calculator. So you can just easily swipe away on all this stuff. It's very, very fluid, very cool. Mucho, mucho cool. Uh, web browser. Okay, one last thing. You got to see this. This is really cool. The web browser has been upgraded. It feels way more fluid. Uh, also... I'm looking at oddly enough, I don't know, readers, some crap. Check this out. This is new to me. I've never had a, you know, this is definitely iPhone ish. Look at that. See? The auto rotation is now fluid. It is not blocky and choppy like it was before. It is very iPhone ish. Uh, to use that, I don't want to overuse that term, but check it out. Quick, very nice. It's a different web page. Let's see if I can actually hold on. Okay, here and also you have if you want to go know where you want to go. Here's some bookmarks. Let's see what how many porn sites I've been to lately. Oh, I like Voyager Web. I can't. I probably can't show that because I may get in trouble. They may delete the video or something. Voyager Web's a good, Voyager Web's a good site. VoyagerWeb.com. Check it out. Above top secret. By the way, this colored bar here up here that's that's part of sense uh, you can choose your theme you know how it is and you have a sensation you know what I'm talking about the browser just seems really it just seems better it seems smoother it's it's just really cool see how it blocks out like that I think it's the oh stupid that's what's slowing it down it's a stupid fucking subway app all right anyways check it out you can watch subway like that Man, it's so annoying. Get off my screen. Ugh, I hate these stupid ads. Okay. Anyway, so you can see how, how cool it looks, how fluid. So, basically, that's it. Uh, don't worry, you still have your HTC widgets. Oh, you can get rid of them. Uh, but it's now, you go to the top to get rid of your widgets now. Instead of at the bottom. I'm trying to think, I don't want to miss anything. I'm trying to remember what else I could... Uh, everything looks polished. If you go into contacts... Uh, mail, everything is just, it's just different, 
And uh, you get one, I want to put this last thing. Yeah, the bubbles are cool. They move around. One, you get an extra, oh, hold on. You get an extra HTC widget, which you may have seen on the HTC Sensation XL and newer devices. You get this, which is, I like it. Really cool. Still want that clock widget, but no, I don't want the animation. See? So that's kind of, you get that newer clock. Very, very cool. Kinetics, great. Okay, that's going to do it. Uh, oh, shit, hold on. Uh, the Android calendar has changed. Remember that, the old school, that it was like blue and white, and you couldn't resize it, and it was just boring and stupid? Um, this is now the new calendar. This is Android. This is not HEC Sense. And check this out. You can actually... Come on, I want to show this. There. Resizing. Ugh. Come on. Trying to finish this video. Uh, what am I doing? Not used to this. Yes, you can actually now resize your widgets. Yay. You see that? And it's not a something extra you have to download. That's it. Let me get rid of some of this. I don't need this. Remove panels. I don't need this. That's it. It's pimp. So if you got a sensation, an HTC sensation on T-Mobile, get the upgrade. I don't. Need, I don't think the HTC Amaze even has it yet, uh, and they might. I'm not sure, but uh, definitely check it out. Definitely get it. It's worth the upgrade. You're not going to miss that dock down there. I love the way it looks now. You can get rid of. You can. You can make it smaller and this and that. And there's just so much stuff. Too much to go over. But uh, thank you for watching, and uh, definitely do the upgrade because you're going to enjoy it. All right, ha everyone have a great day. Thank you so much.